Good afternoon, welcome to the ICTY Weekly Press Briefing. Magdalena Spanińska, spokesperson to Registry and Chambers. And of course, I'm joined also by a representative of the Office of the Prosecutor, Liliana Pitesha, is here. I'll begin by highlighting certain court filings issued over the past week. In the case of Wojslaw Szeszel, presiding Judge Antonetti yesterday issued an order abrogating the scheduling order from 12 of April of this year, uh, which had set the trial chamber judgment for the 30th of October. This abrogation is pending the resolution of the matter in relation to the disqualification of Judge Harhoff. Also in the Szeszel case, on 13th of September, President Meron dismissed Sheschel's complaint in relation to his privileged phone conversation with his legal advisors. The accused claimed that he was unable to establish privileged communication by telephone with his advisors and asked the president to restore them. President Meron noted that privileged communications had already been restored on the 19th of August and that as a result, the accused request was moot. The complaint was therefore dismissed it in its entirety. In the case of Micho Stanisic and Stojan Zhuplianin, the two defense teams filed a joint motion on 11th of September in relation to the upcoming panel's reconsider reconsideration of the uh, decision disqualifying George, Judge Harhoff from the Sheschel case. The joint motion was filed on the basis that the teams have an interest in the panel's final decision because Judge Harhoff was a member of the trial chamber that convicted Stanisic and Zhuplianin. In their motions, the teams claim, uh, amongst other points, that there is no basis for a consideration of the disqualification uh, mo decision. In the case of Radovan Karadzic, on 12 sept September, the appeals chamber dismissed in its entirety Karadzic's uh, appeal on the decision on accused's motion for severance of count one and suspension of the defense case rendered by the trial chamber on the 2nd of August. In response to the issues raised by the accused in his appeal, the appeals chamber found that the Rule 98 bis appeal judgment explicitly addressed Karaj's contention regarding the confluence of genocidal intent and the actus reus of genocide, and that the trial chamber had correctly determined that the Rule 98 bis appeal judgment made the final determination with regard to the accused um, uh, Rule 98 bis motion for acquittal. The Rule 98 bis appeal judgment rendered on 11th of July 2013 reversed the trial chamber decision to acquit Karadzic on genocide of genocide in certain municipalities of Bosnia and Herzegovina under count one and reinstated the charges against Karadzic under this count. Now in the case of Prlic et al, a status conference will be held on the 8th of October at 10 a.m. in courtroom three. And in the case of Zdravko Tolimir, a status conference will be held on the 28th of October and 10 a.m. in courtroom one. In the courtrooms, the trial of Radko Mladic is scheduled for this week and next. Yesterday, Manojlo Milovanovic, former chief of the main staff of Republika Srpska Army, began his testimony. The prosecution has so far called 139 witnesses in this trial. In the case of Goran Hadzic, the prosecution witness, Vilim Karlovic, began and completed his testimony today. Karlovic was a member of the Croatian army taken prisoner during the war in Vukovar. The prosecution has so far called 78 witnesses in this trial. The trial has now adjourned for the week. And as a final reminder, the trial of Radovan Karadzic is scheduled to resume on the 28th of October. This is all from me. I'll give the no, floor to no, no statement from the Office of the Prosecutor. Thank yeah. you. Uh, questions? I have some. Uh, do we know the date of the presidential elections? Is it uh, decided? Uh, we know they will be in, in autumn, in the fall. I don't have a specific date. And is it known now who are the candidates? Or? I'm not uh, 
allow, I'm not uh, free to, to share this, this kind of information. This is an internal matter of the tribunal, so no information on candidates. And uh, just the last one on it, if you can answer that, is uh, will the voting be public or uh, secret? Uh, Again, this is an internal matter, so I have no further information on that. There are no more questions. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week.